I have to pinch myself that I woke up this morning and it's finally like I don't have that pit in the bottom of my stomach anymore. It's such an overwhelming, amazing, happy ending to such a horrible beginning. I still feel a little in shock. I just want to go over there every day to my mom's house and see Jamie. It's yeah. Amazing to see her home. Yeah, because your mom is the legal guardian now. Yep. Jamie's your cousin. Yep. Sort of now like a sister to you. Yep. My and new little sister. I actually told my mom. My mom is she can't through all this. Smiling. Yeah. She, no, she can't quit smiling. No, she can't quit smiling. No. And how is she doing? Right now, the first step is surrounding her by love, making sure she's safe. In due time, we have to take little steps. Jamie, mm -hmm. when she's ready to talk, she will. Mm -hmm. Nobody in the family is asking her how what happened. No. All of the experts say you have to let them talk at yes, any time, right, but I yes. just wonder as family members, no. there would be so no. much that I would want to know. I know, you just want to know, it's yeah. like, but yeah. no. My dad had to call my neighbor and she comes screaming in my door. I'll never, ever forget her screaming. So, so they found Jamie. And that she took the power away from this man, that she did this. I mean, it's just incredible. I mean, the strength that this little girl has and the pride that we have in her for it, and that's instantly what I thought. I think there was p the power of God behind it. All these people in this whole nation, um, the prayers that were said. We don't know what she went through, but to survive it and to get out of it mm -hmm. and to yeah. beat him in his own game and to survive and get out of there, I mean, wow.